Wrestling Observer Live, I'm Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. So yes, tonight is the return of the Wednesday Night Wars. NXT and Dynamite head-to-head. Of course, last week on separate days, both shows did did very good numbers. AW broke a million. NXT, if I recall correctly, mid-800,000s. So head-to-head tonight, likely... Likely closer to usual levels, but I guess we shall see. Scheduled for NXT tonight is the North American title on the line. Damian Priest defends against Timothy Thatcher. Io Shirai defends the NXT women's title. Actually, she does not. I apologize. This is a non-title match. It is Io Shirai versus Shotzi Blackheart. This is a title match. Rizango versus Imperium for the NXT tag team titles. And we've got the Undisputed Era versus Drake Maverick and Killian Dane. This goofy program. So, Killian Dane keeps beating up Drake Maverick. And Drake Maverick was out there last week, and Killian Dane beat him up. And Drake Maverick, like, wanted a handshake, but he got beaten up instead. And then, in light of that, he went to William Regal. And he didn't ask for a match with Killian Dane. He asked William Regal to put them together as a team, as a team against the Undisputed Era. And then when William Regal said yes, Drake Maverick went and told Killian Dane that they were working together as a team this week, and Killian Dane punched him again. This. This. But anyway, that's the lineup for the for the show. AW Dynamite tonight. John Moxley will face actually him and Lance Archer are going to uh they're scheduled to appear, so I'm sure they're just doing talking segments. We have FTR versus the Jurassic Express. If Jurassic Express wins, they will get a shot at FTR. So this is a non title match. Santana and Ortiz versus the best friends in a parking lot brawl. Private Party versus Jericho and Jake Hager, who have vowed to win the tag team titles, which is interesting because the tag team champions and Chris Jericho and Jake Hager both heels. NWA Women's Champion Thunder Rosa will be facing Eva Lise in what I believe is a title match. Hangman Page will be facing Frankie Kazarian, and MJF will be in action. Seven matches announced, I believe, for the AW show tonight, so... We'll see how the numbers are. It's always fun and exciting to get those numbers, except for Mike, who hates hearing about them. But that's your problem, Mike. It's exciting and all that. You're like you're like Drake Maverick here, just constantly getting beaten down by the Killian Danes of the world. Well, when you find the Killian Dane that beats me down, let me know because you ain't it. The only person I didn't say me. Be- It's the only person that's going to be getting beaten down will be you on your Twitter feed, which I know you don't ever look at the comments. Bro, you know who's going to get beaten down is you in fantasy football next week because it's me versus you. And if I recall correctly, which I'm pretty sure I do because I ain't going to forget this one, Mm -hmm. I defeated Vinny V last night. Football Outsiders Vinny V. Mentor works for ESPN. I beat him, and I'm going to beat you. I, I, you know what? I know something that, that you don't think other people know. And, and oh, maybe yeah? one day I'm going to go oh, ahead and, re- and reveal this information. But I've for right heard now, this over and over. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, act like you're you, doing all you of this on promised, your own. Like, you promised. Oh, no, no. That's a, that was a mistake by Craig. Mm. You know, I, I know a man who may not have as much honor as other oh. people would like to think him he, he has, but oh. uh, no promise was made. I, I, I know that. But you know what? I know your tricks, and it doesn't really matter what your tricks are and who you have helping you with this fantasy football stuff. I will be the one slaughtering you this week, the same way I destroyed your champion last your, your the former champion last year, uh, R. Fred. Was it R. Fred? Was it Ryan Frederick, or was it producer Rob? Doesn't really matter. I'll producer Rob? Are you kidding me? He didn't win last year. Our was, Fred did. So I got the Frederick memory did. of an elephant. That's why I'm winning this. That's so why I'm really, running away with it. The way I look at it, I, I've defeated Ryan Frederick, who was last year's champion, which makes me the linear fantasy football F4W champion. Oh, get out of here. Hey, by the way, everybody, we had a lot of people 
talking a lot of trash about these raw ratings. Mm-hmm. And believe it or not, I even defended raw. This was our setup to get there, folks. When I said that I don't think it's going to drop as far as people are expecting it to drop. We had people predicting like 1.4 million, et cetera, et cetera. And to be drop fair, like hookers to be fair, we also had a person who said, you know, the NFL is down 20%. And even though that's still like 9 million viewers, if it was down 20%, I mean, everybody ridiculed this person. Oh, come on, blah, blah, blah. Including, I mean, well, anyway. Here's the raw numbers, everybody. Going up against two NFL games. Raw did 1.69 million viewers. 8.5 and 18 to 49. Down only... 2% 2% in viewers and 4% in 18 to 49. There was a 16% for, uh, thir- first to third hour drop, but I mean, we've seen that almost every week. The Pittsburgh Steelers, New York Giants, 10.76 million viewers. They did not collapse. The late game with the Tennessee Titans, Denver Broncos, 7.70 million viewers. That is down 28%. In viewers and 20, 22% 18 to 49. No NBA game. NHL game that Mike was all excited about. A whopping 829,000 viewers. <laughs> so you, just, you just make things up and just babble them out on the air. Nobody fact checks this stuff. Raw You're was luckiest, down 26 Luckiest little man in the world. In viewers. What are you talking about? You said, isn't there an NHL game? And I said, well, here's your NHL game. There was one. They did 826,000 viewers, Mike. What do you want me to do about this? Raw was fourth in 18 to 49, although you, behind two NFL games, and they were behind Sports Center of all things. 25th for the night. Here's the three hours 1.81 million viewers for the first hour, 1.73 million viewers in the second hour, and 1.53 million viewers in the third hour. So, like I said yesterday, when Paul Fontaine thought for sure this is the best chance for Dynamite to be beating Raw. Dude. They got chance after chance during football season. Because I promise you, I promise you during football season, there's going to be numbers way lower than this. Now, will they be 1.4 million? I doubt it. But this show held up remarkably well going up against two NFL games. Any commentary, Mike? No, it did not get down to, what was our, our caller, 1.45 million, I believe, Something. was the, the text. And, you know, hey, with all the competition it was facing and with... Uh, the number that it was coming off of, it was possible. It was possible for that to happen. doesn't get down to that low, but then again, it still can't feel good. I mean, this is still an incredibly low number, and I guess the best thing that they have going for them, WWE better hope for some really bad weather across the country. Lots of uh, blankets of snow throughout the fall and the winter time here to try to keep people indoors and, and watching their, their TVs here because, you know, they still don't have a very wrapped audience right now, and they, they still need to get something to pop and get something to work here because when we're talking about their numbers going up and down they're really again unless raw gets back into the air of two million people i I don't you know it's still going to be a struggle to talk about their numbers and to talk about what they're doing i mean it still starts till it starts moving in that direction i mean again we're just kind of going back and forth with the same couple hundred thousand people that you know they and usa need to really step it up fast well i i should note here someone in the on the one of the Twitch homies mentioned this, Mike, not me, but AW is, in fact, defeating the NHL in both total viewers and 18 to 49. So there you go. Uh, 